Hi guys, so in today's video we are going to be talking about my greatest moment. One of um, the subscribers, uh, Liam, um, has requested that I you know, uh, share with you my greatest kind of moment. Um, and there's two. So we're going to be talking about that today. So like in the comments down here, I want you whether you are a subscriber or not, to let me know your greatest moment. It can be one or it can be two. Let me know in the comments. I'd really love to know and that. So um, here's mine. Uh, the first one um, was a meeting like my, and it was our wedding day. Um, what was it? That was the greatest moment um but was it the greatest moment like in my life um yes from a personal point of view it was i think um when you get married it's such a special occasion but even greater than that was having uh, my kids i can't tell you um how much um we had so many like issues with getting pregnant and that I um, I have PCOS um, and that and I had to uh, go to a, a fertility clinic I had to have um, what was the like say drugs to make my like eggs all fertilized and stuff like that and guess what I basically um, I went I found out that I was pregnant in December and uh yeah it was um amazing because when i went and this is the most fan this is the most fantastic like news like you can get that you're having a baby but was that i sat there like in the room and uh laying down and uh, and just waiting for the nurse to tell me near the news and um and also to confirm it was no was i was pregnant and that because even though i had the pregnancy test i was very much kind of like yeah um i need what we need to go and see and so that wasn't until january so literally we um We went there and um, yeah, I found out that I was pregnant and that was the most fantastic news ever, the most amazing news ever. Um, and then all through the pregnancy, um, it, was, it was all good. Um, it, it was all good. Um, yes, I had um, say morning sickness for a couple of days. It wasn't that much. And I uh, basically, I um was it I felt tired and stuff like that but and like as the pregnancy went on and that um was it it just got much more better apart from like the what was it the sec no the uh, the second uh, trimester was absolutely fine um however the uh, the third trimester um, because they was born at 36 weeks, which is really good for like a twins. It's really, really good. Um, so literally, um, we were told that they, they shouldn't have been arriving in like August. I think it was like their due date was actually, if there wasn't any twins now, they, what was it? It should have been my, uh, my brother's birthday, the first, first of like August. But they was born the month early. They was actually on the 31st of uh, July. So that's when their birthday is. So that's not too long away. And they're going to be four uh, this year. Can't I can't believe it. Just can't. And I wouldn't change like any of them. Um, no, with Matthew and his autism, I wouldn't change. Um, and also with Rebecca. No, no way. They are my babies, and I think that's what like every single you new know, mum will abs absolutely like understand 
and that and even your like you know, your dads and that but I know with us mums like most of us um are bonded you know, to our children and um I think before I met like my husband I wasn't really kind of like a baby person I'm still not now I I have enjoyed you know, bringing them like up and stuff you know but it's this like age now which I really enjoy it's hard work and that and uh, to be honest with you yes it was much more easier when there was babies because they would sleep and just you know change the nappies and everything but no, I really enjoy, even though, what was it, like we do Mona because we're in lockdown and stuff like that. It's just like so nice and it's, so yeah, my greatest moment, I got two. My wedding day and then like also uh, the kids, um, I think, yeah. The wedding day because it was really personalised and that and no, it was the first kind of, wow moment really and then our honeymoon we went to like Egypt I'll see whether I can find any photos and slot them in here um or maybe I might do another video about like our holiday to Egypt that that was really good fun um yeah yeah I comment below whether you'd like me to do a video on that and then I'm happy to um do and talk about that we didn't really like because I wasn't really into blogging then so it's only like a photos I took but um was that I'm able to kind of show them anyway so yeah let let me know in the comments and, and then I can do one of those anyway folks thanks for watching and then what was it hopefully um you have enjoyed this video thank you to uh, Lee Liam who uh, like asked me in I think it was about a video on my son communication he wants he wanted to know my greatest moment and it's really hard to pick out in my wedding and my kids I know those two were very much they are I'm just going to put them in one no even though they're two separate kind of like events and that but yeah that's no and as for you no know, a personal like achievement and stuff like that I think you no know, it goes without doubt yes you no know, getting married having you no know, kids and stuff like that um and then also I was I guess it's also about you no know, I became a uh, life coach uh, back in 2007 that was really good um having used like my coaching um like much um really wanted to get like uh, back into that um but you now i'm just really concentrating on kind of like say family life at the moment which is absolutely fantastic so um yes yeah, so, so if you haven't already please uh, like this video comment and subscribe and hit that bell button um so you can get notifications and ask me like any questions um what was it what would you like me to talk about next and that and then um we can go from there okay take care bye for now um husband